Hey guys, this is Heligraphics. Welcome to the Hulk experiment. This is the first time in the world that a human person is being lifted using remote controlled aircraft. And for this purpose, we built two specially designed helicopters and they are called Hulk. Heavy ultra lifter cranes. Basically the machines are Gaui X7 Megatrons. And we call them Megatrons because they deliver a stunning 10 kilowatts of power. And I would like to add of constant power. And let's have a look at the machine because there are very nice components that we use. So the machine is a Gaui X7. It's one beautiful machine. And I have to say that this Gaui X7, it's built like a tank. Just look at this main drive gear and look at all these frames and how rigid everything is. Uh, this has to be pretty much the most stable mechanics that I've ever seen as a 700 size. The only thing which happens during a power delivery of 10 kilowatts is that you have slight wear and tear on the main drive wheel and that you've got to replace it from time to time. And that's about the only thing. What you see here is a Scorpion Evo 5035, but it's not any standard motor. It has been specially designed for us by Doc Ralph Ocon. Uh, we told him the specs we wanted to have, meaning uh, a head speed of uh, 2500 or maybe 2400 RPM. That's the head speed we're running during the experiment when we're lifting the person. And this is where this engine has got its best efficiency. So it has the best electricity to power conversion. Let's put it this way. And this beauty here turns with approximately 20,000 RPM and it delivers a constant 10 kilowatts. Now, what do you need to control this kind of engine? The electronic speed controller that we're using is by Uge. This is young generation electronics. And normally they don't sell any 16S speed controllers. So, but you can regularly buy this 160 HVK. That's what it's called for high voltage. And this one is specially modified for us so that it, it accepts 16S. Normally it only accepts 14 or maybe even 15S. But Heino Young is a very nice guy. So if you need to run your Gaui X7 on 16S as well, then uh, look for Uge controllers and they are very affordable and they are very, very capable. The next thing is the power source. And these batteries, um, you probably can't see that well, so I have one here for you. They are SLS batteries. This is Stefan's Lipo shop and they are pretty much Europe's largest importer of uh, batteries of high power cells. He also sells OEM to other companies. So when you're buying, especially on the European market, chances are that you are buying SLS batteries. And this is um, the APL, the advanced power line. It's rated 45C continuous and 90C burst. But I have to say that uh, SLS is always rating the battery very, very conservatively. And if you have a look at the machine here, then you clearly see that one, so this is 4S, 8S, 12S, 16S. They're all connected in series. And this is a total of approximately 70 volts. As servos, these are real beauties. I love the look, how, how well it blends together with the machines. And these servos are X servos and they're manufactured by Beast X. And Beast X you probably know from the famous MicroBeast stabilization system, from the flyable system. And they're also offering like um, receivers and stuff and expanding the product line. And one of their latest uh, achievements is this kind of servo. Um, it's very reliable and it does not develop free play. So this is why we like it very much actually for this um, kind of um, application and they're often used also in speed machines and 3D machines. Same is for the tail servo which you can uh, see here actually. It's also the X servo type. And these are high voltage servos by the way. So you can directly run them on 2S LiPo up to 8.4 volts. Now as a flyballist system we're using a NASA H. Most people think that NASA H is just for fancy GPS stuff, but in fact, it's not true. NASA just happens to be a regular flyballist system, which you can use for 3D flight with the additional bonus of GPS features. Now, why did we choose this one? 
First of all, um, we knew that NASA performs very well also under these conditions that we have in the Hulk experiment that you have a rope and a high load attached to the helicopter. Other flyballist systems tend to uh, build up a heavy oscillation and this one does not. So this is the reason why we chose it actually. And uh, we also thought, this was the second reason, that we might use the GPS function uh, when maneuvering the helicopters into the rope because they're just much more stable. But we found that this is not necessary. And the blades? This is a rather new design. It's, they're called Halo blades. And you may want to look for them because uh, not just that they perform excellently, so the lift is fantastic. They've been specifically designed for 3D flying, meaning they have a lot of uh, grip, they have excellent stop capability. In fast forward flight, they tend to pitch up a bit, so they're not really speed blades, but if you're into 3D, these are your blades. And the build quality is just fantastic. It's really fantastic. They're built by Funky. I think even that Gaui has a cooperation with Halo. They uh, tend to sell it now with the X7 kits or also with the other kits. If you got any more questions, just leave a comment. And apart from that, much, much more stuff coming up in the future. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, now is the perfect time to do it. See you next time. Bye bye.